Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Ten sleeps to go. This program proudly brought to you by Faber-Castell Classic Colour Pencils. Sears, come forth. Now, before you leave, repeat the rules of the gift. The gift must always transmogrify in a special suitcase. We must always accompany the gift, even in hostile circumstances. When the giftee has realized his, her, full potential, the gift may be handed on in good grace. We will remain invisible to all but the possessor of the gift. There are other rules. Study them. Accomplish your mission, and you will be rewarded with human form. Now be gone. <laughs> in your mission, and I will transmogrify you into cockroaches. Something! Don't see us. Don't be stupid, we're invisible. I'm telling you, it can see us. <coughs> okay, now why are you sick? I think it was brought on by stress. Great, now what have you got to be stressed about? When Madame Rosa took you back to the Atmos last week for punishment, Sharon got really stressed out. <coughs> I think she passed it on to me. Oh, we were this close to being cockroached. We are the ones who should be stressed. Well, now you're back. When do me and Sharon get back our gifts? Everything comes to he who waits. <coughs> oh, you said that yesterday. Hey, feeling. We're stuffed. Thanks for asking. Okay, I guess. Your dad says you can keep on staying with us while you're off school. I'll have to stay in bed for a couple more days. Okay. Oh, lucky <coughs> pet dog. I'll bake you some cookies. In case you get peckish. What about me? I'm always peckish. Oh, you're not sick. <laughs> Dear. But I have been stressed. Yes. <coughs> so have you. call the doctor. <coughs> um, I think you're right. Mm. It doesn't mm. sound too good. Mm. This in aid of. Oh, my head throbs. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Call the other one. He's only got one, and that's empty. Madame Rosa gave us the terrible torment torture treatment. Now the stress kicks in. Could someone straighten my blankie? <laughs> I've only like got any chalky. You guys are unreal. Come on, get up. I want you to see if my gift key's back yet. It's not back. How do you know? Paranormal force. Do me a favour. Even if it was, it'd still be in the trunk lock at the storage depot that you were breaking into. A misuse of the gift that nearly cost us both transmogrification. I said I was sorry. Yeah, and the trunk does belong to her. Well, it was a dad, so it's sort of hers now he's dead and everything. Yeah, so come on, guys, up over there and check it out for me. Oh, I'd love to help with the rules. We would if we possibly could, but we can't. <laughs> because you're way too sick. Actually, um, chicken pox. I've got all the symptoms. I looked it up in Helen's medical manual. <laughs> oh, you must feel foul. Yeah. <laughs> Can't you see how stressed we are? <laughs> you don't think we're faking it to try and get out of work, do you? <laughs> I knew it. Once a slacker, always a slacker. If this is wagging school, you can keep it. Wouldn't it be easier without the rag? What are you, part bandit or something? I don't want your germs. Me neither. I'm going on a young inventor's workshop this weekend. I can't take the risk of getting sick. Hey, what's that? Don't. It's not me, it's the bed. Don't tell me. Hey, yes. open it. Open it. Yet. Oh. Five more seconds and stop. That didn't help one little bit. Guys, quick, Leo's gift is back. 
Oh. What do you mean you've got to go at a time like this? Mum's driving me to the inventor's workshop. I was supposed to be home five minutes ago. Let me know what happens, OK? I want details. OK. Was there any sign of my key? Sorry. Looks like we're back in business. Leo is. Let's go on sick leave to celebrate. After we get my key. <laughs> You can stop acting sick now. I've already plucked your arms. You guys better zap on ahead, Duke. <laughs> Looks like C's are off the menu today. <laughs> Must be his day off. He's faking it. <laughs> I can see it in his beady little eyes. Look at that. He's acting like we're not even here. <laughs> Maybe there's something wrong. Maybe he's sick. Oh, right. Believe him, why don't you? Maybe Duke reckons Madame Rose has done enough for you two already. No, I reckon he's sick. Jess is looking for you two. She found us. Oh, hello there. Well, aren't you going to introduce me to your friend? You mean... Robert Elton. <laughs> you can see. Well, doesn't he speak English? That's impossible. Why? What country is he from? Uh, my name is Robert. Dad, this is, uh, uh, uh Fred. Uh, he's a friend of Leo's. Yeah. Where's he gone? Where? Well, he was just there. Isn't he there now? Well, can you see him? That depends. I think he nicked off. To wash his hands. Me too. But, uh... Changed my shirt as well. Well, that Freddy's certainly fast on his feet. He saw. When you sneeze. I told you I was sick. For heaven's sake, don't sneeze again. Quick, let's get out of here before he does. <clears throat> oh, he seems a bit under the weather, doesn't he? <laughs> I'll take him to the vet later. Oh, um, good idea, Mum. <gasps> Henry? Um, this is my saxophone finger. It's a stretching exercise. <laughs> Very good for my nose. I mean, my notes. My notes. <laughs> Gotta go, Mum. Where did you come from? This is... Uh, this is... Uh, for Fredrika. Yeah, she dropped in. <laughs> Suddenly. <laughs> Just then. You really gave me a fright, Fredrika. <laughs> she had to go. Uh, short visit. Bye. Come on. What's happening? We told you we were sick. What with this time? Hoof in mouth? I can't believe you let the old see you just to get out of work. That was a real CSC, I'll have you know. You saw it yourself. So did Mum. And Robert. Oh, a mongrel preacher's duke can usually see us and now he can't. That proves something. Oh, I've got a light out. It's good. No, no, no. No, you can't get sick now. Oh. What if it's contagious? <laughs> they give you warmth and sympathy. I hope we get well soon, too. Oh, look, I'm really sorry for you. I really am. But what am I supposed to do now? Oh, back rub would be nice. Ah, that's relaxing. We've got to get the key back and Dad's trunk. Oh, no. No more breaking and entering. Let's talk it over tomorrow. We'll just have to wait till the seers get better. That could take forever. I don't feel too well. What now? I don't know. How about we sleep on it? Maybe we should go back to the owners of the depot and tell the truth. Grovel at their feet. Beg for mercy. Are you mad? <laughs> 